Hey everyone, how's it going? Got some Final Fantasy Resurgence of Power. It's been a while since I've done Final Fantasy. This is, shoot, what is this technically? Opus 17? I don't even know. Uh, it's been a while, like I was saying, and I've been wanting to open more of this. Totally forgot this set was coming out, like 100% forgot, and came out on December 9th. Uh, oh, look at that box topper. I always forget they do this. I think, I, I like these. They're just, like, they look nice. There's so much going on. <clears throat> Here's some packs. I'm, I'm a little bit more zoomed in. I'm trying to s still figure out, like, where I want the camera for these videos. But, yeah, I just thought it'd be cool to do some Final Fantasy. Talk about the hobby, you know, card collecting. This thing, this thing of ours. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go a little slow at first, just kind of looking at the art and checking this out. Um, selfie, wow, these are cool. Len, Zell, ooh, Zell is cool. It's like the uh, Tifa for Final Fantasy VIII. Nuj, I don't know who that is. Final Fantasy XI, yeah, shoot. Billy Bob. There we go. First hollow. Cam Lanut. Uh, what is that? DFF. I forget what that is. Not Dissidia. There's so much I don't know, like, what's what. <clears throat> Let me know what you think if this is too zoomed in. August. Nash. But the last Final Fantasy video I did was <clears throat> for their five-year anniversary. Uh, they did that, they have that little cool box, which by the way, if you want to pick up one of those boxes, they're like 30 bucks right now. It's crazy. I think I paid like 50 when it was new, um, like when it first came out. So this is kind of the time to probably get one of those if you want. Oh, what is this on my finger? Uh, Lulu from Final Fantasy X, but this is the pick, picked, pick Logica. Uh, I forget what that is. That's really cool though. Lulu's a great character. Squall from eight. Ooh, Tama. Wow, that is really cool. There's a few cards in this set with this art. It looks really cool. Who's the artist? Um, illustration, Yashuda Izus, Izusama. Cool. Okay, Renoa. Different version of Renoa. And Yuri. Okay. Final Fantasy is a lot of stuff being released in the coming, in 2023. There's like a 25 year anniversary for something, I think for Final Fantasy VII, I guess. Yeah. So that, that should be pretty cool. Something to look forward to. Oh, Bart's from Final Fantasy V. My buddy Matt is gonna want that card for sure. Krista, Neo, Fang, Cypher, that's a cool card. But yeah, no, Final Fantasy, man, they're just, they're always killing it, I feel, no matter what they do, whether it's their card game or their video games, they just, they're just, like, consistent, you know? Always got something coming out. Kind of stick to the basics, Red Mage. Man, it's, like, pixelated. I'm not too big of a fan of these cards where they're just, like, clearly screenshots from, like, the online game. I mean, I don't know, it's like, do you really need to make that a hollow? Arc. Like, I still think they're trying to figure out this, the artwork for these games. Um, but it's so cool. This set has a little bit more of a collectability factor compared to, to their last one. There's, like, uh, signed cards in these. Oh, it keeps it. Hey, Shalanka, sweet. Final Fantasy Crystal, <laughs> that's a cool card. Very Charlie Brown. Oh, and then there's these. Oh, man, these are so cool. Illustration, Amano. Okay, I think there's like, there's some special ones of these too, only in this set, obviously. But uh, yeah, there's like some kind of cool stuff going on with this uh, Resurgence of Power release. There's a, I think there's like a few signed cards, like those like golden, you know, it's like, not act, I mean, it's like the signature of the artist. Oh, there we go. Zell. Okay, full art. That's cool. 
seed candidate. I forgot about that. CD candidate. Sweet. Love those full arts. But yeah, it'd be really cool to see what those are like. The signed ones, but they're, I mean, I'm sure they're extremely rare. I think there's like one per... Actually, I'm not even gonna, I can't remember. I read something where someone was estimating, but I can't remember. Rain. Don't know who that is. But there's like some really cool Cloud and Aerith cards. There's a really cool Cypher card, or not Cypher, Sephiroth card. It's like the, it's like an they're called like art not alt arts but there's something like that hey this is the exact art from the final fantasy 8 card game like within the game that's really cool oh my cat's here if you hear any uh whining she wants to see what i'm doing hane final fantasy 3 never played 3 god damn it two-hearted dragon there's a mono again oh my cat wants to come up here Riku, Pain. God, I don't remember that art from 10. That's not 10, that's 10 too. Right? Yeah, that is in 10 too, not 10. Weird. I guess maybe they don't call out 10 too on, on the. Huh. I thought they did though. That's strange. Because Pain was definitely not in Final Fantasy 10, she was in 10 too. That game was such a big deal. God, I remember the hype for that game. Machinist. That's cool. Final Fantasy EX. God, look at that hollow. It's so busy, but like it works. And if you hold it at the right angle, you can like really see the, the whole art. Wow. Vanilla. I love Final Fantasy 10 or 13. That game was really underrated for sure. A lot of hate that game got. All right, let's keep going here. Lulu, Lulu Lemon, Waka, Delusionary Knight, man, there's some, these arts are really cool. Meath, who the heck is this, Crystal Chronicles? They need, they should, like, make a, maybe they do, oh, there's one, Sherlotta. Oh, that's such a cool style. I feel like Final Fantasy doesn't do that stuff very much. I mean, they do, but I feel like they're more serious than not. Keep this in the frame. False hero, Leafkin. Looks like a hop, like a beer hop, like thousand percent. I'm going kind of fast now. I just want to keep this video short. Oh, sweet pain. As short as I can because these boxes take they take a long time. Renoa. But yeah, I, I completely thought the this Final Fantasy card game really fell off my radar. I'm not really buying any new product unless it's for videos um, and everything. I'm I'm not really I'm not spending money like I'm literally trading for everything now. Uh, whether I'm selling it on eBay and then just using credit to buy other stuff, I'm just trying to like think about collecting differently and how to fund it. It's just like I really want to keep collecting like this and sharing like what I'm collecting, but it's it's expensive and I don't I don't know, I feel like you need to focus. I made videos about that before, oh well, one video, but where I think you just need to kind of set set your goals for what you want to collect. So for me right now, I'm mainly uh, selling and getting cards graded. So instead of putting any money towards buying new packs, especially Pokemon. I am, um, I forgot about him. He's in the expansion. Uh, I'm putting money towards grading Mayo. Um, oh, okay. I don't remember this character. Tifa, sweet. But yeah, that's just kind of the route I'm going right now, getting a lot of cards graded that I've wanted to. Um, yeah, PSA is it's a little bit more affordable now than it was. So grade some stuff, sell it off, buy more cards to collect. Oh, there we go, Seraphy. There's that art and style I was talking about. Cool. Whew. Lightning. God, there's like a lightning variant 
in every set. Okay, let's see. All right, I'm gonna speed this up. But yeah, for Final Fantasy, I can't. It, it's really hard for me not to buy something when it's Final Fantasy VII related, which this is obviously. You got uh, Yuffie and I forget that the other guy's name. Oh, I think this is gonna be something. Oh, Inferion. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, this stuff just really tends to stay popular and interesting. I mean, I, th I think it's safe to say Final Fantasy VII is the most popular of the franchise. Um, I mean, it's just, you know, it, it, it draws people back in. And I don't know, there always, there's always some, like, news around it. And now with all the Final Fantasy the VII remake, there's just so much cool stuff coming out from, from this uh, brand. Brand. I sound like a marketing person. Kolka. I don't know, man. I'm not sure. What is this? Final Fantasy 11. Oh, okay. God, 11 again. Right out of the snow. That's cool. There is the Final Fantasy, I think it's the 30 year anniversary. Or no, it's the Pixel 1 through 6 remaster. It looks so cool. But like, there's like the collector's version, and it's like 250 bucks. It comes with a lot of stuff though. It comes with like like two vinyl records, like a art book, the game, like just a bunch of crazy stuff. But man, that's a lot of money. Boom, look at this. <clears throat> Companies are definitely are fully aware that people are starting to collect things again because you're seeing like it's just weird to see something from a company come out that's like two hundred and fifty dollars. Like, why that price? Like, where did that, where did that come from? It just sounds like that sounds like a lot of money, honestly. Especially to pre-order something. It is limited, though. Oh, Lena, sweet Final Fantasy V. This is cool. I need to play five Cerberus with that cool that cool. I think it's called like another. It's not like. It's like another universe or something is the uh oh the style they don't do that in every set they only do it in so many i'm really hoping to see like the sephiroth it's like black and white it's really cool i'm a, I'm a big fan of simple cards oh there we go that's cerberus okay that's cool damn look at that gnarly dog you see that up there? Yeah. All right. This is a, I like this card a lot too. I saw this um, when I was checking it out online. I just like that style. It's just really cool. All right, we're below 15 minutes. That's good. I'm gonna try to speed this up a bit. Last well. So there's a hollow in every pack. Oh, there we go. There's a Sephiroth. That's from Kingdom Hearts, I think. That's really cool. <clears throat> but yeah, there's a hollow in every pack, and I think there's like at least. So I had I got that one full art of Zell. I think that's like your guaranteed um, Legends card. Oh, Sonon. That's right. Okay, cool. That's from the. That's from the front of the the thing. See. What we can do. Let's hope for one of those signed cards. Definitely not going to happen. I have gotten multiple um, full arts for a booster box, so there's probably something else in here in case you're thinking about leaving, which is totally cool. Berserker. Oh man. Ar Arnea? Final Fantasy 15. I don't remember her. Lightning. See, like there's so many. That's from 13.3, cause I, I, I've never seen that armor. And that's like the one I never played. I need to play that one still. All right, I think we got like seven, eight packs left. Thief, all right. Um, Sid Kramer, sweet. This is exactly like that one from Final Fantasy VIII. That game was so cool. Oh, 
Magna Freya. Oh, right, right. Not, don't remember. She's like the main princess, right? From 15. Like, that game was so... I wasn't a fan of 15, to be honest. I thought it just felt so, like, disjointed. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Crystal. Final Fantasy XI again. I thought it was eleven. It looks just like a. It's just a screenshot. Look at that. Bart. But yeah, Final Fantasy XV was not my favorite. I don't know. Just the four dudes were just kind of like the same in my opinion, and it just didn't have any like of the hooks I like with Final Fantasy. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Garuda. It was fun though, like the gameplay was really, really good. Not really good, but like it was kind of it was interesting. Like they took a lot of a lot of uh, chances with that. Okay, let's see if we can get something crazy here. The Yuffie card would be really cool to see. I mean, even without the signature, I just really wanna see that card. Oh wow, look at this. There we go. Galoof. Galuf. An old worry. Dawn Warrior, Final Fantasy V. This is cool. All right, this might be it. But you never know. All right, let's see what we got left. I got quite a few left. <clears throat> let's try to hurry this up for you. Riku from 10 2. Ash, oh, this is a cool card. I like I, I like this style too. There's, you see this style throughout the um, the Final Fantasy card game series. Simple, like I was saying. I just I just really like that. False Hero DFF. Beautiful card. Best friends forever. Final Fantasy. I don't know what that stands for. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this video under 20 minutes. Oh, what the heck is that card in the back? Um, Billy Bob again. There's something, oh, Ark. I thought this was like that Sephiroth card because I saw like the, the all black. <clears throat> Probably won't do any Final Fantasy for a while. I just like to do it every now and then because all of this bulk, like I don't play the game, so I have to like find someone who We'll take this or trade for it, but it's fun to do every now and then. Soul, Final Fantasy B. I gotta figure out what that is. I feel like it's something very obvious. I just can't think of it right now. Okay. All right, three packs left. Let's do this. Uh, man, what is this BF? FFBE stuff. Sid Hayes, another Sid. Look at how cool that is. God, that's cool. Okay. Well, probably won't get anything too crazy. But still always a pleasure to open this set. Oh, there we go. Fuck yeah. Excuse me. Ah, oh, God. I just love all this Final Fantasy VII stuff. Sephiroth and... Man. All right, well, there's one left. Let's see what we can get. Okay, let's do it the old school way. Count God with the FFBE. All right, well, not a bad box. Got the Sephiroth, that's pretty cool. Got that Bart, and then the uh, Galoof, this is pretty cool. I just love that art, man. All right, everybody, uh, happy holiday. Thanks for watching.